Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing my spoiler-free review of the Tales and Teacups book club picks for the months of March and April, which was The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. And I've heard really great things about this book. I've seen it around for a few years now, and I thought this would be a good book to pick for the book club. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I was a little skeptical just because I've heard so many great things about it, but I ended up really enjoying it. Overall, I gave it a four out of five stars, so I really enjoyed it. And literally, as soon as I finished this, I got the second book from the library so I could start reading it. That's how much I loved it. Um, but basically, the premise is that it follows four friends who live in a retirement village, and they have what is known as the Thursday Murder Club, where they look at cases that have been solved, try to find anything that either you know the police missed, or is it you know the wrong like murderer, or did they find the wrong person and so when a string of murders start taking place kind of around the retirement community they kind of insert themselves into the investigation and it kind of goes off from there and I think like if you are familiar with the tv show Grace and Frankie from Netflix I think you'll really like this I had that kind of like feel to it where these characters the older characters who understand like are trying to insert themselves into this investigation just how they kind of play on a kind of stereotypes of elderly people to get what they want and they willingly kind of like play into that role so either people have their guard down or they just kind of manipulate people into thinking that you know maybe they have like some memory issues or all this stuff just to kind of learn more about the investigation which I really enjoyed and just kind of that older person sense of humor that you kind of see in Grace and Frankie I found in here as well and I really enjoyed it there are part parts in here why where I like smiled to myself or just like giggled or just laughed out loud because this despite being centered around a murder investigation like there's just a lot of humor in here and just the ways that they would find to insert themselves into the investigation and then the kind of you get the perspectives of the police officers too like you don't see it happening which I think is really fun you can kind of just see how it happens there and I just thought it was really funny and I loved the murder investigation and just uncovering unraveling the threads of the mystery with these characters was a lot of fun and also the friendships that they share with one another and also ones that they form eventually with the police i really enjoyed as well um but yeah this was i feel like a really good like start to a series like i said i just as soon as I finished this, I literally looked at my like library catalog online and I was able to get the ebook for the second one. Like I literally, as soon as I stopped this one, I picked up the next one. That's how you know you really enjoy it when you just want to be with these characters. And I feel like each character is really unique as well. And just seeing them interact with each other, it's like one of the mentions, like, would we have been friends like 30, 40 years you know prior to us meeting and I think that's really interesting how these people are so different come from so different walks of life but they're able to kind of form this friendship and work together as a team and I feel like the murder mystery aspect in here was done pretty well as well like there was ones where I was like taken by surprise and then you are kind of working it out with the characters as well so it's like is this like a red herring like what is the what is the significance of this and I just thought that was really uh, well done so I think this is a really solid like murder mystery series and it's one that I am really excited about like I said I'm uh, just started the first, the second book so I can't wait I've just fallen in love with these characters I will say I think my favorites probably would have to be Elizabeth I think she's such an interesting character especially with her background you kind of it's kind of alluded to that she was kind of like a like 007 kind of type of person where she was you know working for the government doing all these things and just seeing her just you know just how she is now like pulling all these like people owe me a favor so I'm going to use these to kind of get the information that I want and then just casually you know present it to the police being like oh like I just found this like I'm just an old lady like I thought that was really well done so and I feel like in the second book we do kind of get more kind of background into Elizabeth which is exciting so yeah overall this is a new series that I am really excited about like I said I feel like this has been out for a while like I remember seeing this book for a while now but I feel like it's just yeah 2020 so I feel like I said I, this book has been around for a couple years now but like 
I feel like it just takes such a fun concept of these old people that have nothing to do and nothing to lose and just finding themselves in this murder investigation and just inserting themselves in. I think it's a really interesting concept. It makes it really unique in terms of like the very formulaic cookie cutter crime series that have been out for many, many years now. So I feel like that is an interesting way of kind of, you know, taking kind of the murder mystery genre and kind of twisting it on its head so like i said overall this book like i really enjoyed so i'm curious to see what you guys think about it and like i said i honestly picked up the sequel right away so if you guys had that urge to kind of continue on with the series and i think we get the third book coming out in the fall of this year which is really exciting too so yeah, I'm excited. I just like finally picked this book up because it's been on my TBR for a while and I'm curious to see what you guys thought about it. So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you felt about this book and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.